towards the root of the other letter. And so he seems to have a preference for moving his owner over Look at him. He's just fascinating. We have a bigger one, a heavier one with a scratching post in the middle. And it's got like a golf ball in it. He managed to get it out and start rolling it across the floor. So now we can't find the ball for that one. And this is just a tiny little lightweight one, and he is just going at it. He loves it. And then Vega is up there taking a nap. Vega is up at the top. The mama has gained so much weight. She got big. She's so shiny and fluffy and healthy. She keeps staying in that little hammock part right there. So we bought her another hammock there and a little pink one is over there by the um, chairs underneath it. <laughs> she loves hanging on this. I'm watching a, a cat documentary. I'm taking a break from unpacking. So I'm studying normal. Just look at this. He's just playing. Oh, he finally went away from it. Oh, he took out the dog's toy now. He's going back to it. He really loves it. Oh. I love my kitties. It's so wonderful to have kitties in the house again. They just bring so much joy. And I wake up and uh, Zeus is laying by my feet. <laughs> he won't stay in his bed. He keeps coming up on mine. And then Nermal wakes me up every morning around 5 and gets under my chin and just kisses my face and licks on my face and, and gives me a nose tap and purring and... Which is just so adorable. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to have the kitties. And it's really healing to Jim and to Zeus. He's not alone anymore. He really loves the kitties. The mama's really scared of him. But Normal isn't. Normal comes up and touches noses with him. And they, the only time he, he you know, ever snaps at Normal is when he feels his... Um, trying to get his food from him. He's food aggressive, so. But he's never hurt him. It's, it's good. I just wanted to capture this.